Hello, everyone. Welcome to 2501 Economics, 2501. This is microeconomics, and this is Dr. Boromand having the privilege to present this exciting topic to you. If you are taking this course, chances are this is your first exposure to economics, um, absence of any exposure in high school. So this is a, quite a privilege for me to be able to present this exciting discipline to you for the first time. And I can assure you, you are in a good company. So what is economics all about? Economics, if you ask average person, if I ask you right now, what is economics? Probably what comes to your mind is money, banking, investment, interest rates, so on and so forth. Economics, is all that, but much, much more. Economics at the basic level is a science of decision-making. It goes to understand why people make the decision they make and eventually help them to make the best decisions. We, are, we live in a world which has limited resources and we are beings with limited resources ourselves. One of the most limited resources we have unfortunately, is our time, is our lifetime. We have a limited lifetime. And we have 24 hours a day, right? But we want to accomplish many things in these 24 hours, right? From family life, from work life, professional life, to going to the gym, resting, and so on and so forth, right? Again, limited resources but we have unlimited wants and desires. How do they go together? That's when economics comes in to help you to make the best out of what you have, to optimize, to make the best decision, consider the limited resources you have. So anytime you are dealing with the limited resources and a scarcity is the technical word in economics. Economics is science of a scarcity. If there was no scarcity in the world, probably there would be no need for economics. Economics is divided traditionally to two major divisions, the microeconomics, and that will be the topic of our course, and then macroeconomics. Microeconomics deals with the decision-making at the individual level and at the firm's level, companies. Macroeconomics, on the other hand, deals with the decisions and problems at the grand level, like at the, at the national level, or at the global level. That the, for example, the topics that macroeconomics covers are the topic you are familiar on a day-to-day -day life with. For example, the matter of inflation, how to tame the inflation, uh, the prices, price level, which is again related to inflation, the unemployment, the economy, the growth of economy or lack of growth, the recessions, the economic cycles. These are all issues that macroeconomic deals with. And you will hopefully take a second course in economics that would cover that. I would be glad to be teaching that as well. Make sure you take it with me. But now we are dealing with microeconomics and that the decision at the individual level, at the firm level. For example, um, the type of questions that you, you, will be, you, be, you will be able to understand and analyze is this. Why, for example, airlines uh, sell you cheaper tickets if you call three months in advance? But if you call a week or two weeks in advance, the price is going to be higher, right? Why is it that if you buy a package, it's a hotel, airline, and car, you're going to get a better deal, right? Uh, questions of that sort is, is the questions that microeconomics uh, attends to it. <clears throat> again, but again, don't, 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 be, don't, be, don't be mistaken. Any decision you make in general, in a way, is an economic decision. The fact that you have decided to get a college degree that is at the heart an economic decision. To get married or not is an economic decision. To have child, children or not 
is an economic decision. Obviously, to buy a house, a smaller house or a bigger house, or a car or so on and so car, these are all economic decisions. But it just goes beyond the matter of house and cars and stuff again. Having a child or not can be looked at from an economic point of view. In other words, there are different, the, the world we live in, you can look at this world from a different perspectives. You can look at it from physical perspective. You can look at it from a statistical perspective. You can look at it at a psychological aspect, perspective, historical perspective, political perspective. And among all these different perspectives, there is economics, economical perspective. And this is what we are going to learn today. That opens a totally new window to the world of comprehending and understanding the world that we live in. And that's a very, very important perspective. One of the most important perspective is the economic perspective to understand the, your life, personal life, the society, and also at the level of political economy, right? So this is very exciting, very useful, and I am very delighted to have this opportunity to introduce you to this extremely useful and interesting topic I assure you, after the end of this course, you will be asking for more and you will actually love the economics, right? So, uh, the, uh, there are, but to get there, you have to be attend my lecture and be attentive when you attend my lectures. And you have to also have your textbook, read your textbook, because there are quite a few details that I don't get a chance to cover in the class. So you have to read those examples and, you know, cases, case studies and so on in your textbook. There are also invaluable resources on the web that I 100% recommend you watch them. Uh, you can also, definitely Coursera is one of them. There are many microeconomic courses on Coursera and other uh, places on the web that I highly re recommend you watch them and you benefit from them they would be a complement to what we cover in this course because there are so many different aspects and parts that we, we might not get a chance to, to cover. So certainly watch those and use them as reference for this course and also for future, okay? Again, this is a discipline that you learn is gonna stay with you for the rest of your life, professional life and your personal life. You will have, you will have eight weeks. Every week you have a quiz, you have a learning engagement, we have, you have one case study that comes on week six, and then you have two exams, one midterm and one final. If you stay with the course, do your assignments, you will enjoy it, you will learn it, you will benefit from it, and you will get a good grade. And we, hopefully we can move on to the next course, which is macroeconomics. So I've been looking forward to meeting you in the class and knowing you and to start this journey with you we are going to be looking at the world from a totally different perspective. We are going to open a new window to the world and we are going to understand it better and we benefit from it. See you later.